What's good everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video we are going to be doing some quick and easy lazy girl hairstyles. So if you wake up some days and you just don't know what the hell to do with your hair then I got you girl. I'm gonna show you some quick easy simple hairstyles. I think I have 10 of them for you guys today something like that. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the Whip Fam. I'd love to have you guys here and also give this video a big ass thumbs up because you already know we're about to have a good time. So let's get started. Okay, so switching this right on over to a voiceover just because I feel like it would be a little bit more easier for me to describe the looks this way as opposed to me doing a bunch of different hairstyles and trying to talk through it. So for this first look, you're going to need a claw clip. If you guys do not have one, I will leave a link in the bottom description box for you where you can get one. But basically, I'm gathering all my hair at the nape of my neck out those front few pieces just because that is super cute adds a little something to the look and then I'm going to wrap my hair around my pointer finger there and then I'm going to grab my claw clip and one side of the claw clip is going to go directly into my skull no I'm just kidding but it's gonna go on one side of my hair and then the other side of the claw clip is going to go on the other side of my hair and then I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of fan out the top of my hair there and then any pieces that fall out like on the side there see like I had some falling out um, you just want to tuck that back into the clip and boom girl you have look number one lazy girl style and you're ready to go so for this next look, you guys are going to need a ponytail or a rubber band, whichever you prefer. But I am basically grabbing the front sections of my hair kind of at an angle, if you can see there. So that's all the hair that I am grabbing. And I stop it at like the crown of my head. Um, but I'm gathering that all and I'm going to secure it into a ponytail. Um, and I'm going to repeat that on both sides. Okay, so once you do that, I am just giving them a little tug. As you guys can see, that kind of helps the ponytails stand up a little bit more. And then I'm going to, of course, take down the front pieces. This is completely optional. Um, I just think, personally, adds a little bit something something to the look. Um, but, of course, I do have my lovely widow's peak there. So I just feel like I basically have to pull out my front pieces in almost every look I do in order for it to look good. Um, but yeah, that is super simple, you guys, and that is the end of look number two. Okay, for this next look, you're just going to want to tie your hair at the bottom of your neck or up, I guess, if you want, but just basically to get it out of your way and of course leaving down those front few pieces or whatever fallout is cute and then i'm taking this bandana that i got from h&m i will link the exact same one or a similar one if i cannot find the exact one in the description box um and then just tying that above my head once that is tied we are just going to bring down the rest of our hair and boom girl you have your third look so you can see i left those top pieces out um but i also tucked them in so you could have a cute little bow moment or you can tuck them in either way is super cute um but that is the finished look <laughs> Okay, so leaving on that same headband, I'm just going to go ahead and gather my hair up at the bottom of my neck and put it in a low ponytail. Um, and then I'm going to actually pull the bandana up over my ears just because I don't want my ears to be poking out. <laughs> and then this is optional. If you want to leave those little pieces out, you totally can and have a cute little bow moment again. Or you can tuck them in like I'm doing here. Um, so giving them a good little tuck and then just fixing any pieces that kind of fall out when you want to tuck them in and bada bing bada boom that is the look number four okay so for this next look it's super easy you guys i'm going from kind of like my eyebrows or my temples if you will and going straight back gathering up my hair in the back and then i'm going to be putting it in a bun any messy bun will do and of course i'm leaving out the front pieces because i just like the way that looks on pretty much any look as you can tell um but yeah so then i'm just going to do one of my little messy buns where i wrap it around once and then twice but don't pull it all the way through and yes i know there's that curly piece of hair back there clearly i forgot to straighten that but 
you know it is what it is let's just pretend it's straight um so yeah this is look number five you guys super cute super simple um and it just adds a little something instead of just wearing your hair straight and down moving right along to look number six we are going back to the low bun and i am just creating a messy bun any messy bun will do you guys i do one ponytail and then i just kind of scrunch all my hair together and then put another ponytail in um nothing too perfect i find that if you just don't try the messy buns always come out like how cute and simple is that let your front pieces fall down and boom girl that is look number six you are ready to go i'm technically calling this another look just because it's a different style but i'm grabbing my handy dandy little under armor hat and putting that on with my low bun you guys look at how this just adds so much to a look um super cute so Look at number seven, just add a hat, girl, and you're on your way. Okay, so another hairstyle with a hat, you guys, because let's be honest, second or third day hair can kind of look a little greasy, but like it's not ready to be washed, you know? So throw on a hat, we're going to gather all of our hair to one side, and we are going to braid it. And not like a tight braid, we're going to keep this pretty loose, and you can always pull it out at the end, but the looser, the better, because again, this is supposed to be a cute, effortless, lazy girl hairstyle. So we don't want it to look too perfect or anything, so nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to be pulling out the braid. I think that that makes it so much more like lazy girl vibes and just cute and effortless and then of course don't forget about those front pieces and then if you have any falling out like i do there on the side um it's nothing a bobby pin can't fix so just go ahead and throw a bobby pin back there and girl you are on your way with look number eight Okay, so I don't think I'm going to include this as like a separate look, um, but I just wanted to show you guys that putting it even in a low ponytail, if your hair like isn't long enough to braid or something, it looks so freaking cute too. I don't know. I was jamming out or something, but yeah, so that is another option as well. Now we are going to do the top knot bun. So I'm just gathering up all my hair and of course I'm going to leave out my front few pieces there and then I'm going to take a ponytail and secure this and I believe this time I did wrap it around three times just because you want it to be super tight and secured. Um, but that third time, obviously pulling it out, um, or not pulling it all the way through. I look like insane. It's like a peacock. But um, And then I'm taking another ponytail and wrapping it around just kind of scrunching up my hair however I like it and then securing it again with a ponytail okay so once you kind of played around with it and you kind of get it to the way you want it you just want to secure it with a bobby pin um try not to use too many bobby pins i think that if you use too much it kind of just takes away from the messy portion of the look and it looks just too much like a sock bun or something and then of course um you want to like hairspray and slick everything back it makes it look so stylish and cute um but my hair was clean and i just didn't want to do that um but here i am adding some sunglasses you guys this is a great way to accessorize and just add a little more to the look like look how cute that looks like it looks like i have my life together and i didn't wake up 30 minutes later than i was supposed to <laughs> but that is look number nine you guys with or without the sunglasses it is a super cute lazy girl look but also put together so for this very last hairstyle i wanted to actually come on here and explain it myself instead of doing a voiceover i believe this is the 10th hairstyle i really hope it's 10th hairstyle if it's not, then that's freaking awkward because I'm pretty sure I named this like 10 easy hairstyles or something. Anyways, I don't know. Um, I am about to show you guys my go-to fast and easy hairstyle. I kid you not. Like, I probably wear this hairstyle almost every single day. I'm not even kidding. So, this is what I do when I want my hair out of my face. Super quick and easy, but cute. So, I just take all my hair. And I don't do it any like super specific way i just gather all my hair up and then i take a ponytail and i don't even wrap it around that was once here's twice and i'm taking my hair and i pull it through and like that's it <laughs> i kid you not this is how i walk around my house 24 7 hello oh, okay she wants to say hi hang on 
This is my puppy, everyone. Everyone who doesn't know, this is my dog, Winnie. She is the sweetest little pup ever. I'm gonna finish this. Okay, so literally how I would like walk around my house and do it, but if you wanted to do this simple, quick and easy hairstyle, but kind of make it, you know, somewhat look cute because right now I kind of look like I'm balding with my receding hairline, but so I'm gonna like take this. Actually, I like to have mine, I don't even know. I just like, just spread it out, fan it like so. I don't know, I think that's cute. Then I'm gonna take these front two pieces and pull them down. Like something like so take out some of the hair by the ears because I think that's cute and there and just pull down any baby hairs that you think like look cute pull it out make it look messy like that is as lazy as it gets right there so I just wanted to like share that with you guys because I kid you not even when I do do my hair this is how it ends up um and it's like my favorite thing ever so by the time I stand up, it's probably going to be like hanging down here, but you know what? Like it is what it is, and that's the reality of my life. So there you have it. There are 10 super easy hairstyles for you guys, lazy girl edition, because let's be honest, sometimes you just don't feel like doing your hair, you know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed some of those hairstyles. Let me know if you try any of them out. Okay guys, and the quote for today before we go is, having at least one lazy day per week can reduce stress, high blood pressure, and the chances of having a stroke. So there you have it. Not necessarily a quote, but it's a pretty cool fact, I guess, about being lazy. So there you go. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the Whip Fam. Love to have you here and give this video a big ass thumbs up. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.